Hello and welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to manage Azure Network Security Groups with PowerShell. What we'll do first is we will define one of our rules and then we will attach that to the command that creates the actual network security group. So the first command that we're going to use is new Azure RM Network Security Rule Config. We're giving it a name, RDP Rule. The description is called Allow RDP. Access is Allow protocol TCP and the direction is inbound. Now the priority parameter you need to pay attention to, we've set it to 100. You shouldn't really set a rule with one because that way you can't put a rule in front of that rule to act at a higher priority. When you create the, the network security group, there's default rules that are already set and you'll notice these are up around priority of 65,000 and above. So the source prefix address we have defined as internet and the port range we're using asterisk as a wildcard for everything and the destination prefix again we're going to allow all. So the destination port range is 3389 which is the default port for RDP. So let's just run this. So next we actually create the security group using the commandlet new Azure RM network security group. We use the parameters to attach the resource group and also the location, and we give it a name. We're calling this one NSG dash front end. Then we use the parameter security rules, and then we attach the rule we created in the first step. So let's just run this. Now that's run, we can check it out in the portal. So if we refresh this, And now you see our network security group, NSG front end. So we'll just go in and have a quick look at it. And there you'll see the default inbound and outbound security rules with our RDP rule added in. So the next command that we'll look at is how to add a rule to an existing network security group. So we retrieve the details of our security group and pass that into $NSG. Then this time we use a command like called add Azure RM network security rule config. So again, we're attaching it to our network security group. This time it's one called web rule. Uh, we're allowing HTTP. Direction is inbound again. The priority is 101. And the port is port 80. Once we've defined that, we use set Azure RM network security group. Now let's just have a quick look in the portal. And there you see at priority 101, our new web rule. So next we retrieve a rule, then we'll show you how to remove that rule. So we're going to get the details of our RDP rule by using get Azure RM network security rule config. And there we have the details on that rule. So our next step is to gather the details of our security group. And this time we use a commandlet called remove dash Azure RM network security rule config. You'll see the parameter name, we've put the RDP rule in, and then we pass in the details of our network security group. And finally, we use set our Azure RM network security group. So if we pop back into the portal, you'll now see our RDP rule has been removed. So the next process we look at is actually how to modify an existing rule. So again, we retrieve our details. And this time we use set Azure RM network security rule config again. But you'll notice this time I've changed the port number to 8080. And we use set Azure RM network security group to apply those changes again.
So let's just refresh this in the portal. And you can see the web rule, we've changed the port to 8080. So now that you've actually created your network security group, the next step is actually to attach that group to another resource. So you can attach it to a network interface card of a VM, or you can attach it to a virtual network. We're going to attach it to a virtual network so that the network security group will apply to everything within that virtual network. So I'm just going to retrieve the details. So we use get Azure RM virtual network subnet config to retrieve the details on our front end subnet. We then need to retrieve the details of our security group that we're going to attach. Then we take one of the properties of the subnet, which is basically network security group, and we assign it our security group. We pass those details into $NSG. And finally, to apply the changes, we use set Azure RM virtual network. So in the network security group, if we now have a look in subnets, and you'll see our front end virtual network is now attached to this network security group. So the next step is to detach the network security group from the virtual network. It, it's the same commands, except this time, we pass in to the property network security group dollar null. So it basically removes that group from that virtual network. Now, if we refresh this again, the network security group is now being detached. So the final command that we'll look at is actually to remove the network security group completely. So we use as a parameter name and we're defined the one we defined earlier, which is NSG dash front end, and then the resource group, and then we're going to use the command force. So if we go back into the portal, refresh the resource group, and there you see the network security group has been removed. Thank you for watching this snip.